Okay, so here we are with another Olight. And so far I've been pretty impressed with the Olights. They're usually good value and a high quality lights. I've tried several flashlights, headlamps, and like I say, can't go wrong with them. You know, we all like stuff like Surefire and stuff like that, but you're not going to get the same value, in my opinion. I mean, Surefire is good, yeah, but when you're looking at uh, $270 for a tactical flashlight to put in your gun compared to you're looking at about 70 bucks here. I mean, for 270 400 even $500, I mean, in some cases, you're paying as much for a tactical light as you are for the gun, right? So... That's what I like about these guys. Very strong lights, durable, and reasonably priced, man. Right? So, let's bust this guy open. We're going to uh, see what we have, do this unboxing. And then we're going to see how it uh, looks out in the field. Put it against some other lights. And uh, then we'll try mounting on some firearms here. So, let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, they it's glued up pretty secure. Okay, so we got a oh here it is. Here is the actual unit itself. And um, pre pretty compact little thing. And uh, okay, it's got the this rail for a Glock. It's got the GL on here. Let's see what we get. Of course, your instructions. Okay, several languages, so it's not really that much. Pretty straightforward. This so bit of instructions there. We get. There's a rail attachment. This is for your standard firearm. This would be for Glock and Glock compatible rails. And this guy would be pretty much, you take that guy and put this one for, I guess, other firearms. So, uh, I, of course, I would try it with this guy. And then, if that didn't work, try it with this. And it has uh, comes with its own screws on this guy. And it looks like it actually has a Loctite on there. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Got a recharging uh, port here, USB charger, plug it into your computer. Let me see. Now, from my understanding, you cannot use a uh, charger from other lights. This is uh, specific to this unit here. And of typically, like most O lights, flat, so it's not going to tangle up. I like that. That's always a good thing. Not like your headphones or something that always get tangled. And, uh, Okay, that's for this guy here. So it comes with a tool too, so you can uh, change the mount. Oh, <laughs> the light reflected on my hand. That's a that's a pretty bright little sucker. Okay, so you press and hold, or press it wants to stay on. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You to uh, just quick. You just want to take a look at something, shut it off. I get a signal or something, I don't know. And then turn it on, you just give it one good press. And it's ambidextrous too. That's that's a plus, like a for an HK or something like that. Ambidextrous, that's uh, not always the usual end. We got quick detach. There we go. The lights I have on my Glocks right now, I always need the little uh, Allen wrench to take off and remove. But this guy, quick detach, so you can throw it on one gun to another. That's pretty cool right there. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is what you get with the unit. There'll be links in the description bar for those of you interested. Let's look at some of this stuff here. Over the basics, let me see. 400 lumens, it'll hold that for a couple minutes, it seems, and go down to 60 lumens. Of course, because that's a pretty bright light. I wouldn't see that being on for, it says up to 70 minutes. That's, that's a bright light, so... 
it can't be that bright for the whole 70. <clears throat> and uh, let me see what some highlight features. It has a battery included and rechargeable. From my understanding, I'm reading on this sucker, it can hold this charge for up to a year, but they recommend charging it every so often. And uh, let me see, yeah, Glock Rail compatible, Hit the high switch minimize, and it's seems to be water resistant but not proof. So of course, you know, you're not gonna. <laughs> it wouldn't be something for Navy SEALs are gonna be in the water, but uh, you know, you, you're caught in the rain or something like that. Um, it would survive that. Okay, anyway. So, it seems to fit your standard mill spec Picatinny rail. So, uh, yeah, here it is on my KSG. Which I can even do it. I can't do it with my thumb. My finger's too small, but... Yeah, it fits on there. Fits on the very snug. So, uh, yeah, I like that. And it's pretty. Doesn't take up much room on this thing. I like that. Really bright and compact. Okay, here's something I haven't seen anybody else do. And that is mount this on a USP, an HK USP. It seems to fit perfectly fine on the Glock, as is out of the box, a Glock 19 and a uh, Glock 17. I took off the Glock rail adapter. I left the basic one off. So here's my USP. I'm going to cover up my serial number. But as you can see, it is right at home, perfectly snug on there. I mean, that fits extremely, extremely well. And, I mean, this is probably going to be its home. So, for your USP, it'll fit this sucker. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. But again, let me do the quick release here. Kind of hard to do it on camera. But, I mean, it just take off the uh, the rail and it's not going to shake because it's right at the end there. You can see where it fits right on there. Lock. And there we go. I mean, that is snug as can be. So I was thinking, <laughs> I, I was actually uh, thinking that it would not fit on the USP and would actually fit on my Ruger SR22. But fortunately, the uh, SR22 seems to be just a little too small for it. It doesn't fit even without the rail on there. And besides that, let's see. Yeah, it snaps, but it, it comes right off. So anyway, let's get the Glock. Okay, it, it seems like it was actually meant for a Glock. I mean, I have smaller hands and I can control this thing pretty well. But it seems to be just right on there. On a Glock 17, gives you just a little bit of room. What I've seen, Glock 19, it's right there at the end of the barrel. So it fits flush pretty much. But uh, yeah, I mean, very bright light. These are unfortunately all the handguns I have with a rail. <laughs> but it, uh, I thought it'd actually work on the, uh, on the Ruger SR22. But the SR22 is a little bit too small. Uh, but it actually, to my surprise, very delighted, it actually fits on my HK USP, which usually is one that's going to fit a light for your USP is uh, usually pretty expensive. So, I mean, for 70 bucks, a light for a, a USP, an HK, that's, that's great, man. So I was really pleasantly surprised on that one. Okay, now we're going to try this indoors. First, we have a standard little LED flashlight here. Then, here is the tack light I currently have on my Glock. 
And now we're going to do the Olite. Now we're going to do, here is the standard, right. and against the Olite, see the difference? Standard Olite, huh? So there is quite a bit of difference here, let's back up a little bit. which coming up kind of weird, different on the camera, but the old light's actually brighter and on camera it's got a spot here. But uh, yeah, okay. Definitely at night, lights off and then somebody, somebody's face, super bright. Well that would, uh, yeah, all right. Okay, here we are outside in this field, and we're going to do this uh, first off with this pretty basic LED again. Here we are. Let's give a little demonstration. So that's the standard LED flashlight. Here we go. Here's a, another tack light I have. And then we're going to do the O light and compare. the Olight and okay here's the you can see the difference here here's the standard tack light here's the Olight standard Olight okay so okay we're gonna do this the other way I'm gonna go to the end of this you're looking at all oh, it's probably close to 100 feet maybe just shy Anyway, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to take my old tack light and the, then the O-light and go from you viewing me coming this way with the light. So, I'll get out there and then uh, I'll come with first, let me use this, first this standard tack light and then I will bring our O-light. So, I'm going to leave the LED here. Okay, that was this basic uh, tack light. Now I'm going to go out there with the O light and do the same thing. Okay, and that's the O light. Okay, last thing I want to try this tree here. See how well we light it up. Standard tack light. And then O light. 
put them both. Okay, so do a complete tabletop review here. And overall, I mean for the money, this thing is awesome. 70 bucks and I mean it is it's a durable piece of equipment here. Durable little light. Again, the uh light here, plug it into any standard USB. It only works for this O light. You can't use like I have uh some of the others, a couple other O light flashlights. They will not work to actually repel, but it does snap on there, charge it up. Uh, it took a, just under an hour to fully charge this sucker, and it does have an indicator to when your uh, your battery is running low. And again, it uh, fits perfectly on a Glock. I think they were designed to fit on a Glock. Um, but by removing this rail, I have got it to fit on my HK USP 45 perfectly perfectly and those of you with an HK you know that you know lights for an HK are pretty pricey right you can probably find a couple good deals and this would be one of them we're not spending a couple hundred bucks for a simple light me I like to be a bit more careful with my money it is uh, 400 lumens there is the uh, the Valkyrie 2, which I want to get my hands on, that is, from my understanding, three times brighter. That would be great for, like, I think, a rifle. That's what I would like it on a, on a long arm, personally. You saw this guy did fit my uh, kel 12 gauge, and that has your standard uh, Picatinny rail on there, and it fit just fine with the Glock uh, rail adapter. Fit, uh, fit fine on that guy. And, uh, I mean, what else is there to say about this guy? It's pretty light. Really compact. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of power for that little bitty, uh, for this little size here. Again, I do like it. I mean, of course, you're not going to go scuba diving with a sucker. But, it is water resistant. So, you get caught in the rain or something. Let's say you're out there hunting. That would work out very fine because the last thing you need is something that's going to go out with a little bit of water. This guy, water resistant, it'll hold for a good while. <clears throat> Let me see. Comes out about 75 meters. Um, let me see the battery. You don't want to um, fool the battery. Uh, from my understanding, it's not just easily replaced. Um, so leave that guy alone. Take you about just under an hour to charge it. That's what it took me about 45, 55 minutes, something like that. <clears throat> well, what else is there to say about this guy? I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, again, I was really surprised at how it fits on a an a HK. Um, that's very rare, but perfectly fine on a Glock. I would say this guy for the 400 lumens indoor. I would recommend this, highly recommend this for like a, you know, your your home defense, uh, your, your handgun for home defense, right? Something that, uh, you know, you're not fumbling around. Um, there's some, some lights, you know, you have to do it just right or hit three times. This, I like it, it's just on and it's in your face. And if you just want quick light for a second, you just, you know, press it for a second. You want it on, you press down, it's on. So I like that. Somebody comes into your home, it's pitch black, you know the layout of your home, and the next thing you know, there is just a bright light in their face, disorient them, right? And uh, that may help you out there. Hey man, look, get out of here, you know. You just overwhelm, <laughs> overload their their, uh, their sight with this, this bright light at night when they're walking around in the dark, most likely. Very compact. Um, like I say, it did not fit on my... Uh, my Ruger SR22, which, you know, you got to buy a custom light for that. But also, you have to buy a custom light for an HK, and it fit. Very surprisingly. So, definitely, I would say, you know, you got a Glock, which is 
totally reliable. That's many of them out there, you know, very popular to make uh, and model out there. 19 in your in your 17, it'll fit on there perfectly, just right out of the box, right? Uh, for other firearms, you have to switch off to the non-Glock rail, no problem. You got the tool that comes with it, and uh, it's even got some Loctite if you you know like to use that. And uh, again, this guy, it's going to go on on the HK. I really like that. Again, I want to get my hands on the uh, Valkyrie 2, which is three times stronger. I think that, you know, outdoors, that's really going to, you know, if you needed it, that's a lot of power out there. Uh, a bit bigger because, of course, that much power, you're going to need larger size. But this, very, very highly recommend for your indoor, right? Your, your home defense, right? Home invasion at night, that sort of thing. That's definitely a way to go. And it seems to be durable. All the products I've had from them, you know, are definitely more uh, pros than cons. Um, some of them, very, very few times, they're, they're a little bulky, but this one does not have that problem. Most of their uh, SRs and stuff like that, most of those are very compact and very bright. I like that. And again, instead of going out and spending $270 for a Surefire, 70 bucks. And this guy is... It's a tough little guy. And, uh, yeah, put it through some, a uh, little bit through the ringer for a couple of days. But, um, yeah, there we go. If you like this guy, links are in the description bar. And there is going to be a sale um, on the 30th. So, link in the description bar. There you go. Um, if you're going to pick one up, might as well do it on sale, right? It's a good price as it is on sale even better you can't go wrong all right anyway that's it for me you guys have a good one